So for today, we're going to be looking at the last Warlock Exotic, the Balladors Wrathweaver's Arms. These are really cool. We're going to be looking at what it does, how it shaders, how it looks, and then an example set that I made for this. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's look at what this exotic actually does. So the exotic perk is called Hearts of Ice. Your Winter's Wrath Shockwave deals increased shatter damage. Allies in range of your Shockwave gain an overshield and increased damage with stasis weapons. So this is pretty wild. A lot of things happening just for using your shockwave, how you regularly use it. There's no like hoops for it, which there's not, there's no hidden meaning behind what I'm saying right now. Not like nothing, nothing at all. Uh, I just think it's wild that warlocks are getting so much stuff for just using their super, how it's usually intended. So I'm just going to say that, um, I think it's really cool. I wonder if the overshield. Uh, and the increased damage with stasis weapons is also included in PVP. That would be wild. Um, probably really fun in sixes. I don't know if it'd be, well, it'd be really useful in threes as well, but yeah, nothing too crazy to like think about. It just does more damage. Uh, your shockwave just does more damage. And while you're doing more damage, you get, an, you, you get, you give people an, an overshield and damage. So wild. As for how, how it actually looks, it's unfortunately pretty bulky, uh, at least for the female or warlock, at least for the female warlock, it's really, really bulky. Uh, I do think it looks cool. Like, let me just get that out of the way real quick. I think it looks super cool. Unfortunately, the crystals do not change color. Um, I say unfortunately because the Titan helmet, um, that one actually does change color, the crystals. So I think that's really cool. Unfortunately. They just didn't apply that to these arms, which would have been really cool. Not saying that's annoying because even my example set, I take that into consideration, but I would have liked if the crystals could have changed color or at least give us the option to change it, change the color. I think that would be an, a really cool thing as well. Um, as for how it shaders, I think it shaders fine. Not going to go through these specifics, but overall, I do think it looks really, really cool. As for the example set, I ended up going with kind of like a head cannon look uh when, what i mean by that is it makes sense when i give it a story more than what it actually looks like because as it looks it just doesn't look that good it looks kind of weird but i know some people would be like oh i think i know where you're going with this so let me explain my thought process um first and foremost let me talk about the shader horizons beyond gives a really really cool glow that goes almost it's almost a one-to-one -to, -one to the crystal so that's why i'm using horizons beyond but uh, I like everything here except the dream bane robes. I think the dream bane robes is just kind of like out there for all of this. I think the virtuous boots look really good with it. I think the prefectus or prefectus bond looks cool with it as well. And I think the insight of Vecti hood looks really cool with it as well. A little small because the arms are really bulky, but I still think it looks cool. The reason I am using the dream bane robes is because these are the thickest arms I could have found. And what I mean by arms, I mean specifically the bicep. Uh, it's really thick, so it doesn't look super small. And I think that's like my biggest um, critique about this arm is just the fact that the Balladors Wrathweaver's arms are really bulky to the point where if you combine it with any other any other chest piece that the Warlocks have, uh, it looks like the arm is just like too big. Like you look like Popeye almost. And that really does bother me a lot, which is why I went with dream Bane robes. And in my head, my warlock is kind of like this old warrior that has seen better days. And he's kind of like just a drifter at this point. So like, that's why he looks all ramshackled, but he still has armor underneath and whatnot. So that way he still is a warrior. He still is ready to like get into a fight. So that's kind of like my head cannon of it. Like this is an old warrior and he's seen better days and yeah, that's that's the headcanon for it. Just because if I combine it with un any other arms, it just looks really, really small in comparison to the arms. And this might be just the case for female warlocks, uh, male warlocks. Let me know if it's any different because for females, it just, you look like Popeye, bro. Like, like legit. If you don't know who Popeye is, well, I'm old, but is this dude right here. And I just, unfortunately don't like that look. It's just, it's, it's not good. So. I know the, the example set is a bit of a cop out, but unfortunately just all of the arms that the warlocks have for the chess pieces are just way too small. And I tried damn near all of them that I had. So you could probably go with 
some of the Iron Banner stuff, specifically like maybe the Samurai set. And when I mean Samurai, I mean legit like the, the one that looks like he has like wooden plates on his body. I think that one would be, would have been really good, but I know, I don't know, man. I just like this look a little bit better, better just because I gave it a story and I was like, fuck it. Like I like that better than the Japanese look because the Japanese chess piece I don't like at all. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like your exotic? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.